Katie Seagal. <laughs> I love me some Katie Seagal. Both stars join us live this morning with a preview of season two of Superior <laughs> Donuts. Good morning, you two. <laughs> Hi. Hey, good Katie, morning. I good got morning. to interview you uh, live in person in, w early in my career. Uh, it was back in the in the Fox days. And uh, I got to say, I still tell people about how just lovely and wonderful you were during that interview. It was just the, the highlight of my career. It's true. It's, it's all, all been downhill from there. It's all he talks about. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That's really nice. I hope I can live up to it again. <laughs> <laughs> and Jen, you're a peach too. Yeah, so don't let anybody, you know, tell you otherwise. Yeah. Question well, for I, you. I, I get to interview Katie every day. There you go. <laughs> there you I go. Mean, I you know, I got I, I'm way ahead of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Question for you. Is Arthur ever going to like cronuts? Is it gonna happen? Yes? No? Is he ever gonna what? Like, like cronuts. cronuts. Oh cronuts. <laughs> You know something? I, to this day, I don't know what they are. <laughs> I know it's a croissant and a donut. Have you, you know, if you, go to, if you go to all the donut shops across this country, you're going to find something you never saw before in your life, and, you get, and you're not going to take a chance because you think it's something you shouldn't eat. You know? That's true. I've seen, I mean, I've seen donuts that look like pretzels. I've seen donuts that look like, you know, like little machines. Whatever they do, they're like, they're objects. They become <laughs> objects. And yet I've seen people. And yet I've seen people who don't know anything about it standing over the counter and say, "I'll have one of the those," what is, and then what they is, don't know what it is. What is you that? Know? Yeah. I don't know what that? to call it. <laughs> so season two uh, kicks off the, tonight. What, what? And you've, uh, I'll have the you've pink got some one. changes coming tonight. You're bringing in a new character. Uh, Sophia is uh, going to. She's parking her food truck out front, and this is not making you happy. No, I'm, I can say this, you know, off the cuff. I hate her, but I think she's a really <laughs> wonderful actress. <laughs> he hates her food truck. Yeah. And he hates what she symbolizes. You know, Arthur's got, Arthur's not amenable to change very readily. So she once again represents something that he just can't really wrap his brain around. Yeah, sometimes when you do a show like this, you can't get, you can't get away with not being the character for a while. You know, I yeah. just am, and all, all of a sudden they told me what the show was going to be about, and I said, you're bringing in what? <laughs> <laughs> right, what? a healthy food truck. And uh, so Sophia is played by Diane Guerrero. Driven by a girl? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Diane Guerrero from no, Jane no, the I mean, Virgin. <laughs> from Jane yeah. the Virgin, also Orange is the New orange Black. Orange is the New Black. And Orange is New Black. And so she is very, very good. And we're looking at Which the. I, can, we're, I really hate. We're looking at the clip, and so he wants uh, Katie. He wants your character. He wants her to move the food truck. Uh, I well, I I I'm fine with the food truck. <laughs> this guy is all over me to get her to can move you, the food can truck. Can you imagine the desperation that I had in order to get a cop truck. to move the truck? Yeah, he's a health food truck on top of being just a food truck. So I'm put in the position of like trying to kind of you know negotiate between the two, and you know. Doesn't really uh, actually. Well, you'll have to see, but 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 this, it works out. I was I own this place for 40 years, and now this is the biggest challenge in 40 years that's ever <laughs> happened to me. All of a sudden, someone looks like they're going to put me out of business. That's not easy. No, you know what I mean? didn't like that. Not and easy. The, and the whole area is kind of putting him. You know, they're all threatening to put him out of business because it's gentrifying. Right. You know, there's, there's Starbucks. There's coffee shops. There's like you know. There's chains around him. It's like it's like he's the, he's one of the he's like the last mom and pop store, uh, without a mom, just a pop store. Just the pop image store. in Arthur's head, <laughs> the image in Arthur's head every day, every week is a wrecking ball which is about to swing yeah. <laughs> into the into his shop. That's the way yes. our executive producer sees and we're our show to too. Ease him in slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both. The cast is fantastic. The show really so was what a great surprise last season. I really we enjoyed think every so moment too. of it. Hope Can't wait to see it. it. Tonight okay, on uh, CBS, Courtney, 8 o'clock. Thank, Thank you so much, you, you two. Guys. Trying to decide where, where, where Judd ends and Arthur begins. You know, when you watch it, <laughs> I hear you. I love it. He's the only one.